There is something I'll have to do if we find Damon with that gun again. And what might that be? I'll have to throw you in jail. I have a boy the same age. They'd have to put me in a mental institution if the same thing happened to him. Hey, you got one thing to offer. You got a pretty face and a nice body. And honkies be climbing all over themselves trying to get at you. Daddy, Daddy, don't go. Please. Please, don't go. Code 6 on the 415 bus call. Us, huh? <laughs> I sure appreciate you folks taking the time to jump aboard the way you've been. Poor Charlie over on 96, well, he wasn't so lucky. I heard. Say, you know something, man? They both pretty. <laughs> Not anything. <laughs> hey, pretty mama, come on over here and play with some fellas. <laughs> so you do is gonna spend the day here, huh? Oh, come on, lady. I got me a whole dime invested. You know, I got me places to go, things to do, you know? Hey, what you trying to do? Has. Oh, don't tell me. You found it. And you were going to turn it over to the nearest policeman. All right, get up. All right, on your feet. Come on. Take him. Book him on an 0202. I'll pencil in an arrest report later. You can't say you spent your last day behind the desk. Still trying to change my mind, huh? I'll keep trying, right up to the last second. Yeah. <clears throat> yes? Yeah, I, uh, I'm retiring today. 30 years, they told me to come Sign over. Sign here. <clears throat> last name? Uh, her shop's right there. Number? 2773. I need your badge, ID card, button and cap piece, and game well key. Wait here. After 30 years, you're still a number. Oh, what did you expect? Brass band? Well, something like that. White speaking. Miss White. Lisa, is that you? Lisa, your mother called. What happened? Please, if it's you, Lisa, come back. We can talk about it. Whatever happened, we can work it out. Mm -hmm. 
Uh, Judge O'Brien's chambers, please. You gonna put a warrant out on her? I have to, Virgie. Ducking the police, huh, Lisa? I went and spit the slams, ain't you, Lisa, baby? Jam up, doggy. The papers will be processed and forwarded to the pension board. Your first check should arrive about the 5th of next month. This is your new badge, ID card. Both indicate your status as retired. Please heed the warning. You no longer enjoy full peace office authority. Enjoy your retirement, Mr. Hershoff. Uh, Kelly, uh, I'm just picking me up. Would you see that the car gets back to the station house? You have it all planned, don't you? No. Yeah, I'd rather. The fellas remembered me and wanted the job, you know, not being put out to pasture. I'm gonna miss you, Tom Hershey. Kelly. You're the best. Well, eight years of concentrated training under Mr. Juvenile. What do you expect? Ah. Come back and see us sometime. Sure. Okay, Damon, you can go up the office now. Remember your promise. You should have had that locked up. He's a curious nine-year-old boy. Are you trying to tell me how to run my own home? Well, she made a suggestion. Look, if I choose not to, if I choose to make that boy toe the line instead of hiding things he ain't supposed to fool with, then there ain't much she can say. No, there's not much I can say. Mrs. Thompson, there is something I'll have to do if we find Damon with that gun again. And what might that be? I'll have to throw you in jail. Now, that's what I call rehabilitation. Or a lousy way to start a day. Take your pick. What's up, Barney? Well, I got a call. Robbery homicides putting together some new male-female teams for rape investigations. Captain Stevens gonna offer you one of the spots. He already has. When? Yesterday. Well, thank you for letting me know. I had no reason to. What are you talking about? A big, glamorous job like that? Or what'd you tell him? Now, what do you think? Well, I think maybe you've got these kids in your blood. However, with Tom retiring, I... What is it? There's a missing 10-year-old boy. Possible kidnapping. My uniform's been on it for three hours. I did a house-to-house, -house, turned nothing. The standby team's handling a homicide. I'm out of people. And the press is bugging me for answers I can't give them. Well, what about a partner? That's already been taken care of. He's on tomorrow's transfer. Now, if you get going, I can have him meet you there now. Oh, well, I'm sure he'll appreciate that. Who is he? Oh, you don't know him. He's been buried in one of those soft valley divisions, working autos. Well, will you get moving? Hmm. OK, OK. Hello. Yeah? Mom? Oh, Lieutenant. Hey, Mom, where's my shirt? There you are. Hurry up, you'll be late for school. Right. Okay. What was that on the phone, Dad? That was a station. I gotta go in a day early. That's boss. Better something big, huh? <laughs> yeah, something really big. Will you tell me all about it tonight? I sure will. Every detail. Thank you. See you tonight, sweetheart. Bye. Uh-oh. Something is running around in that pretty little hen of yours. What is it? Nothing. What's with Cheryl? Nothing more than a sensitive 13-year-old who can see right through the both of us. What are we going to do about it? Maybe we should uh, think about getting away from each other for a while. Is that the best you can come up with? 
Well, somebody had to say it. Consider it said. You assigned here? Yeah, just got transferred in. The lieutenant said I could find my new partner here. A guy named Craig, Kelly Craig. <laughs> Are you Prescott? That's right. I'm Craig. Matt Prescott. Do you have any objections? Not unless you're a lousy cop. Working autos in the valley is a big difference from working with kids down here. Did anything happen this afternoon? Mrs. Gibson? Huh? What, what was that again? I asked if anything unusual happened today. Was Timmy's mood any different? Was he punished for anything? No, there was nothing really unusual. He gets on my nerves, but I, I didn't hit him or anything. I tell you, I think that Jimmy was kidnapped by child molesters. There's no reason for you to jump to that conclusion, Mrs. Gibson. We'll cover all possible areas. But was there anything, anything at all that could have made Timmy run away? Well, he, he knew that my boyfriend was coming tonight. But he's been coming off and on for three months now. And Timmy never left before because of that. Where is your boyfriend now? He's off and gone. This police stuff makes him nervous. What about Timmy's father? Is it possible he could have picked him up? No. No, he's back east. He's been back there for two years. Oh, he writes to me every now and then about that bowling nonsense. You know, he left us to become a professional bowler. What about Timmy's interests? Did he have a favorite place he'd go? What about his friends? I'm afraid I don't know Timmy's friends. Did he have a favorite playground? Any place he'd go? He hasn't mentioned one. Stores or a club in the area? Anything at all? I'm afraid I haven't paid much attention to it. Have I? What happened on those 288 suspects? All the freaks in this area are accounted for. He certainly is cute. Yes, he is. I have a boy the same age. They'd have to put me in a mental institution if the same thing happened to him. Maybe Timmy's gone because no one feels that way about him. Is that an assumption? No, that's eight years of working with people like Timmy's mother. I think we can call it a day. Turn it over to the night side. I just think it's all a stupid waste of time and money. What did that accomplish? I could have signed up for the interior decorating course for what that'll cost. Rena, it was one hour. You can't expect to solve our kind of problem in an hour. Plus, you agreed to come. Also, there's no cost involved. This is a job benefit. Oh, another surprise. The uh, departmental shrink is free. That's another thing you haven't bothered to tell me about. Just another one of my failures to communicate. Look, you're so on again, off again. How the heck am I supposed oh, to... Vic please. Hey, you ain't got nowhere to go, baby. That's what. Maybe I do and maybe I don't. Oh, come on, Lisa. Don't be jiving me. <laughs> I see you walking these streets yesterday and today. And you ain't got nobody after you but the man. What do you know about it, doggy? Well, I knows I can be taking care of you, and that ain't no job. 
You taking care of me? Mm -hmm. Doggy, you can't even take care of yourself. Oh, baby, I can take care of you, I can take care of me, and I can take care of everybody else. <laughs> hey, is that dude over there across the street? And that dude's got bread. Mm-hmm. Your mamas he got with him? They got bread, too. Yeah. That's how I'm gonna be, baby. It's rice. Nice rice. Give me a fine set of wheels, baby. Plenty of bread. Now, that's what I call the righteous living. You've been reading too many dream books, doggy. And now, look, baby, this dude ain't gonna be working no $1.65 an hour gig because that's for honky chumps. Yeah, that dude over there is a big man, baby, and I'm gonna be just as big. I'm gonna be bigger. Yeah, now, what you say, Lisa? Well, stop jiving, doggy. Baby, I am not jiving you. I am rapping to you. Hey, you got one thing to offer. Yeah, you got a, you got a pretty face and a nice body. <laughs> them honkies be crawling all over themselves to get at you, Lisa. Yeah, that's all you got. Uh -huh, you got something to sell, babe. Nothing else. Pick up my dad, and I'll bet you're Kevin. Yeah, I'll tell you here. Well, I don't buy it. None of it. You separate once, and the next time it's that much easier, except for the kids. Well, it's worth a try, Matt. We've done everything else. You give us a chance to find out where we are. I know where I am. I feel so inferior. So locked in. All I want is three hours a week away from this house. One night that can belong just to me. All right, Rena. Take it. Take two. Well, it's probably too late anyway. I'm going to take the, the children over to my folks' place, and you can stay here. Well, you do that. But remember one thing. If you do, don't bother coming back. The... That police lady is waiting. Daddy, Daddy! Don't go! Please! It's okay, Kevin. Everything's gonna be okay. Go back inside now. fine young man you have there. Yeah. I'm sorry I held you up. Oh, it's all right. They haven't found Timmy yet, and we're back on it. And Kevin, he soaks up every cop story I bring home. You never saw a kid like him. You two must have quite a relationship. We do. But I often wonder what it would be like if I was a an accountant instead of a cop. Well, my guess is nothing would change. Maybe. Wait a minute. That's it. What? Timmy. Bowling alleys. Look, sweetheart, I'm not a weirdo. Twenty buys it straight. None of that wild stuff for me. 
Well, are we going to make it or not? Well, how do you like that? There's plenty where you come from. What's the matter with you, Lisa? I didn't like him. What do you mean you didn't like him? Now look, a trick is a trick. Maybe he was the man, doggy. You ever think of that? Oh, man, Lisa, you've been pulling this all day. Now, what's with you? What's with you, doggy? Maybe I don't like the idea of hustling for you. I mean, you never did anything for me. All right. Uh-huh. You say I didn't do nothing for you? I ain't never done nothing for you? All right, well, I'm gonna do for you. Yeah. I'm beginning to think I had a lousy idea. About ten down, two to go. We'll soon know. Prescott? from the hospital. The bus driver's dead. What about the woman passenger, Mrs. Anderson? Well, she's hanging in there. She could be our best witness if they'd let us talk to her. Those are the punks from the bus? Radio car brought him in. Matt and I'll get to him. Look, well, Kelly, move faster. People upstairs are yelling for answers. Okay, Manuel, back to your seat. Yes, Marge. I pulled her folder, but... Yes, I remember. Look, Marge, I don't want to slough you off, but a shooting on a bus has turned into a homicide and... I know her mother says she just went crazy and ran out of the house. Let me get back to you, Marge. Yes. Sure. How'd it go? He didn't see anything. He didn't hear anything. He doesn't remember anything. To hear him tell it, he was on some other bus. Is this she ran away from Los Padres? Yeah, something must have happened when she went home. Something that's undone everything we've tried to patch up in the last six months. I don't understand. If she was under court commitment to that school, what was she doing home in the first place? Well, she earned a week's visitation privilege. Lisa is a fine child, man. Confused, a lousy home life. But inside, she's got a lot going for her. That's why I recommend a placement. Well, you've handled her before. Oh, several times over the past three years. Mostly drugs. But she'd been doing so fine in school and looking forward to going home again. Only something pushed her over the edge? Yeah, your father left three years ago. And Mama's a pill hit. Is that enough push for you? Well, I guess we can look for one more at the same time. 
She's worth the trouble. Round two. Round two. Carlos, come on. Yeah, we'll stay here. Oh, please, doggy, let me go. Hey, look, where do you think you're gonna go, huh? Huh? Now look, you aren't going back to the slams. You're gonna stay right here with me because you in it too. Oh, what are we gonna do? Think of something. Now, come on, let's get off. No sign of that kid, Lisa. We're striking out at work. I wouldn't say that. The doctor said Mrs. Anderson should be out of intensive care by late tomorrow afternoon. Maybe she'll be able to tell us something. Witnesses? They're scared to death. And those kids, it's a shame. Some of them are so hard, con-wise. That one kid, Carlos, he's hard as a rock. Never even been arrested before. Hey, this is just your first week. Don't let it eat at you. Uh, all seems so hopeless. Honest, Matt. We do win some of them. Believe it or not, I have a whole book full of success stories. What kind of magic do you use? The same kind you used on a little runaway. It was really rather wonderful. Well, so long, Kelly. See you tomorrow. Kevin? Rena? Kelly? Matt, is that you? Yep. Call up me. I just checked. Listen. I'm down here at the Code 5, thinking about getting smashed. Would you like to keep me company? Matt, is something wrong? No. Well, nothing a few drinks can't cure. How about it? <laughs> Will you stop that? That whining? I'm hungry! Oh, shut up! Now, you know I didn't get that purse, and that's why we ain't got no money. That departmental shrink, he nailed it pretty good. When we got married, I was 18. Rena was 17. She was pregnant. She dropped out of school to become a housewife and a mother. That sounds kind of nice to me. Was for a while. She's a good mother, keeps a fine house. That's where it stops. Me, I finished school. College part-time, this job and everything. I, I guess Rena felt like she was left behind, barefoot and pregnant. All she talks about is going back to school. But I would rather that she would concern herself with being a woman. Or maybe she just wants a chance to grow, Matt. There is a... a big, fat gap between us. Do you think it may be your job? Could be. Maybe I should quit. Might make things better. Yes, but is that what you really want? No, Kelly. I like the job. That fellow I knew. You know, the one I told you about. He was against the job. It wasn't until much later I found out it wouldn't have mattered what kind of work I did. Then you were lucky. You're good at your job, Matt. You have a talent, a feel for it. You should be proud of it. We have got a lot in common. Well, thanks for your ear. It's probably worn out by now. 
I'll use yours sometimes, partner. Good night, Matt. Kelly. Matt, please. I'm sorry. I had no right. Well, Mrs. Anderson, was he with a group of boys? No, not that I could tell. He was alone then? No, a young girl was with him. Pretty thing. Oh, she was so frightened. As I remember, he, he called her by name. Lisa. kids for a bit? Not tonight, Matt. Something wrong? No. It's just not a good idea. Now look, last night you said... Matt, last night was... Well, it just happened. And we should both forget it. Can't, Kelly. Can't forget that easy. Matt. I'll pick you up later. At least we can talk about it. All right? Kelly? Padre's school for girls, Miss White. Hello, 
Miss White. <laughs> Remember me? I'm the one that was so good in all our raps. Lisa, where are you? You sound strange. Oh, I'm flying, Miss White. Flying. <laughs> it's funny what these little yellow things can do. This is the real world, Miss White. Where are you, Lisa? Oh, you can't find me now. Somebody will, though. I'll be found, but it'll be too late. Too late for any more of your phony programs. I went home and found out it was just the same. Funny. You think it's going to be different, but it's not. Just the same, Miss White. Lisa, listen to me. Lisa, get the main office to run a trace. She's on her way to an OD. Hello? Give me the location. A public phone? Right. No, I'll get in touch with Matt. Right, Barney. We got a lead on Lisa. They think she may OD. I'll explain on the way. It's been at least 20 minutes. The lady on the other end said the girl sounded pretty zonked. Has a broadcast been put out? Yes, ma'am. I told them every half hour. Make it every 15 minutes. Yes, ma'am. Street Playground. Hello, Lisa. Have you seen my daddy? I'm sorry, I haven't. He was here a minute ago. We come here all the time. My daddy likes to swing me. You must love your daddy very much. He's gone. It went away. We come here all the time. My daddy loves me. That's when she did it. That's when she gave him to me. You mentioned your friend. Tell me about him. Friend? You mean Doug? Doug is not my friend. Doug is me. Where is he? Where? Lisa? Well, wake up and tell me where Doug is. Doug, Doug is in the house. What house? On 62nd. Where on 62nd Street? This, this house with signs that say, don't go away. I, I don't know. Yeah. I understand. They've located Doggy. You were right. It's an abandoned house. How is she? Now Marge got her off drugs. Got her head screwed back on. She goes home for a visit. Mama's got a few caps laying around. And tells her to take all she wants. No wonder she ran. All right, just take it easy now. It's rotten, Matt. Yes, it sure is. One J-10 to all units. Now hold your positions. Now nobody moves until my say-so. 
Barney, we go in first. There's a chance we can talk to him. Okay, Matt. Give it a try. your gun. We'll talk about it. Barney, we're okay, but we need more time. I'll give you another minute, then pull up. Doggy! Doggy, we can have your folks brought here. Where are they? This is just my old man. And he couldn't find his way out of a wine bottle to get here. He don't care nothing, you hear? Then it's up to you and me, Doggy. I care. You're the man. And the man don't care nothing. but no cigar. I guess she came home. What are you waiting for? I'm not sure, Kelly. Forget us, Matt. There's too much at stake. For you. You sound like you mean it. I do. I thought about it. We're just partners. And that's where it ends. Will you get out of here?
Barney? About that transfer offer I had. Robbery homicide? 11 Mary 6, call a station. 13 Zebra 5, John Frank William 899. 